back here. I'll be right there. Okay. Yes, it was 19... I'd say 59 or 1960, and the only thing I could say at that time when my father asked me the big question, what do you want to be, I said I want to study old things. A lot of the pieces that I collect, you know, besides whole antiques, a lot of the pieces are broken pieces, uh, pieces that were discarded, uh, pieces that actually have been forgotten, or maybe just became obsolete and they no longer serve the purpose of what they're, uh, what they're originally made for. And in putting them together into a kind of a, a sculpture, it kind of unifies them as one, and they become whole again. And uh, they actually all have a distinct history and a personality of their own. Started, first started taking found objects and uh, putting them together in some type of shape or form and something I thought interesting. And uh, just started photographing them and not making them a a permanent piece at that time. Like this photograph up here, the outside ring is a barrel, a, a ring that went around the barrel. The middle one, some type of a horse-drawn implement uh, ring. And the ball is an old 1920s uh, lawn game ball. And right here, the ring on the outside, now is the ring that's holding this sculpture together. The middle ring is the inside of this sculpture, and the ball is now on the end of this sculpture here. I've kind of been a guy like with no rules or regulations. I really can't commit to anything, and so in uh, in sculptures there are no rules or regulations. I think you kind of have the freedom of uh, whatever feels good, and, and if you're doing it just for yourself and. Hopefully other people will share that interest, that's fine, but sometimes the last m minute or the last thing that you do with a piece could be the most important part of the whole piece that brings it all together. And here's the end of the story. Sing.